Hey guys, and welcome to another vinyasa class. My name is Diana, and today we're just going to explore a nice little practice. Not going to be too long, so it's perfect for the morning or maybe like a lunch break. Um, as always, listen to your body when you practice. If you are tired, then as always, just take it down a notch. If you have energy, then definitely come and jump on the harder options. Um, what I recommend in terms of music is that you have music on a different device or the same if it works on your device, but in the background. So instead of you hearing my music here, which I think uh, makes the sound quality quite poor, is that you find um, your own music. I'm going to link uh, all my lists in the description box so you can take one of the vinyasa uh, playlists there. If so, then you can press pause now and just go and find that. And once you've got the playlist, press play and come on back. When you've got everything up and running, uh, music on a good volume, you can hear me, um, you've got your space ready. Then we're going to make it back to our mats and we are going to start in a child's pose. So let's get going. So guys, we're going to start in our child's pose. So come down onto your mat. Um, allow your toes to touch, knees can go to the sides a bit. Just reach the arms forward and then allow the forehead to rest down. Before we start our practice, let's just arrive into the body and into the space. Let's all take a nice and deep breath in. And then exhale out through the mouth. One more like that. We're taking a deep inhale. And a soft exhale. Nice, guys. We're going to come up onto our fingertips, lift the forearms, lift the forehead, and then walk your hands over to the right side. So the hip stays where they are. You're creating a bit of a side bend with the upper body, and then keep your um, armpits fairly low. So you're going to be close to the ground. Just take a deep breath in and out. Nice. We're coming back through center and then over to the other side. Again, keeping everything low. Taking another deep breath in and out. Nice, guys. Come back through center, spread out through the hands, and then gently round up to your tabletop. From tabletop, cat cows, we're going to drop the belly, lift the chest, take an inhale. As we're exhaling, round and down. Nice. We're moving with the breath here, so inhale, lifting it up, and then exhale to round. Nice. Doing one more like that. So inhale. Really try to almost drag the chest forward. And then exhale to round. Nice. We can neutralize the spine. Allow the hips to come towards the heels. Gently, we're going to look forwards, then round the spine. Hips are going to continue forward. Squeeze the glutes and then come into a little back bend. Bend into the elbows here. Nice. Do that again. Hips towards the heels. One more time. We're rounding. We're coming forwards. Hips comes down, we're bending the elbows, lift the crown of the head. Nice, gently hips back to the heels. This time we're going to tuck the toes, look forwards on an inhale. And as you're exhaling, we're going to strike forwards to a high plank. So you're hum, shifting the way forwards. Two more, take your back knees down, look forwards, inhale. Exhale forward, so again, separate the shoulder blades, be onto the tip toes. One more, inhale back. Exhale forwards. Stay here, knees to the mat, and then the whole body down. We're going to take a little baby cobra, so take a shoulder roll, then inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, massage the rib cage back down. One more like that. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders. Exhale, back down. Nice. Slowly, guys, hips to the heels, and then gently come back to tabletop. We're going to allow the right leg to reach back, take an inhale. And then knee to nose on the exhale. So we're rounding again and push. Nice. One more inhale, lift back. This time, place the foot outside of your right hand. Shift the way forwards. Come up onto your fingertips and lift the back knee. Go a little bit forwards and back with the weight. So you're coming into the hips a bit. Breathe into the belly. Nice. So the back knee comes back down. Walk the hands back a little bit and straighten the front leg. Toes points up. If it's a bit tight, then hands onto the hips, and we're lengthening a bit more here. Take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold down. One more like that. Inhale, you can lengthen. Again, hands can be on the hips. 
exhale we're folding nice we're walking down to full width shift into the hips then lift the back knee push the knee into your triceps now and lift the foot away good and step back high plank we're going to come down to the knees and lower the whole body down baby cobra inhale lift the chest exhaling it back down and then gently come back to your tabletop one round cat cow inhale lift the chest and exhale to round nice neutralizing the spine allowing the left leg to reach back take an inhale knee to nose exhale so again rounding in one more inhale take it back this time soundlessly place the foot outside of the hand shift the weight forwards we're going to lift the back knee and we're moving a bit forwards and back being light onto the feet broad across the chest now now the back knee comes back down we're walking the arms back a bit straighten the front leg the toe can now point up if it's tight you know you can absolutely lengthen and lift take an inhale to lengthen wherever you are and then exhale fold one more like that we're going to inhale to lengthen and exhale fold nice walk the hands forward lift the back knee push the knee into your triceps and that foot is going to start to lift step back high plank slowly you can come down to your knees or stay on your tiptoes one straight line all the way down baby cobra again inhale to lift exhale down this time hips towards the heels we're going to tuck the toes and rise up downward facing dog arriving here taking a few couple of breaths maybe paddle the heels and seeing if we can find the breath so breathing in through the nose and out through the nose when you're in your downward facing notice what's going on with the hands so if you put a lot of weight onto the edge of the palm try to push down through the fingers as well i'm going to stay one more inhale and then soften through the exhale Nice, this time as we inhale, we're going to ripple forwards, high plank to round the spine as you come forward. Then we can bend the knees, lift the bum up, and a little ripple through the spine might come around. One more inhale, come forward. And then again, exhale, just take it up. Nice, now come high up onto your tiptoes. You're going to push through the shoulders and take small steps to the top of the mat. So be again as high on the tiptoes as we can. Small steps to the top of the mat, eventually we'll meet in the front. Feet hip distance, let's just swing a little bit side to side. So we're still tapping into the hamstrings, soften the shoulders, soften the wrists maybe, if you feel that they <laughs> felt the warm up. Hands below the knees, as we inhale, take a halfway lift. And as we're exhaling, let's just bend the knees a bit and fold. One more like that, inhale, we're lengthening. And exhale, let's fold. Really nice guys, just bend the knees head is heavy and let's roll up the spine so super slow getting a little massage in for the upper back once up we're going to take a shoulder roll gently guys reach the hands forwards and up on an inhale hands next to us mountain pose on the exhale seeing if we can find the breath seeing if we can find the breath here closing down the eyes breathing in through the nose out through the nose one more breath in and out one round half sorry a we're going to inhale reach both hands up as we're exhaling let's fold all the way down forward fold and on your inhale take a halfway lift lengthen the spine and as we're exhaling let's just fold back down this time inhale reach all the way up mountain pose on the exhale we're adding on from here sorry a inhale reaching it up and again exhale let's hinge from the hips take it all the way down nice and slow halfway lift hands roots down we can step back to our high plank you can choose knees or toes we're rocking forwards look forward low chaturanga on your inhale baby cobra or upward facing dog we're going to take two breaths here I want you to squeeze the glutes, <laughs> drag the chest almost forward, and really push through the arms. One more breath. And then gently, guys, come back downward facing dog, hips comes up high. We're taking three breaths. 
in through the nose, out through the nose. You can still paddle the heels if you want to, or definitely explore that stillness. It's, it's definitely a bit of a <laughs> different pose almost when you're still. We're gonna take one more breath in, and one more breath out. And this time, when we move to the top of the mat, you can step walk or float. Wherever we are, we're gonna look forward. Again, step walk or float to the top of the mat. We're gonna arrive halfway left. Exhale, we're folding it down. Nice, guys, all the way up, big inhale. Mountain pose, exhale. One more round, Surya A, inhale, reaching it up. Allow the gaze to follow the hands, forward fold, exhale. Lengthen, Arda, halfway lift. Hands comes down, you can absolutely step or walk. If you want to float, make sure you land with bent elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, we're lifting again, upward facing dog. And eventually we're meeting in our downward facing. Three breaths. This time I would recommend to be in stillness. Seeing what we can find, where can we soften. Breathe into the side ribs, guys. One more breath. Nice. We're going to reach the right leg up to the sky. As we are here, you can open the hip a little bit, kind of check in with the um, left hamstring, as you can feel. Nice, and just keep that leg straight out. We're taking an inhale. Knee to the left triceps, come forwards and come into a gentle little twist. Nice, lift back up as we inhale. This time, place the foot shy by the thumb. Nice, back knee down. As before, we're straightening the front leg, toes up, fingers down, or fingers onto the hips. We're gonna lengthen wherever we are on an inhale. And as we're exhaling, we're gonna fold. One more like that, inhale to lengthen. And exhale, fold. Walk the hands forward, gently lift the back knee. And you're leaning the whole body onto the front leg here. We're gonna reach our arms behind us, squeeze through the shoulders, and see can we lift that back knee up a little bit. Nice, breathe in. Allow both arms to come forward. So you're finding a long line from the heel all the way to the fingertips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, the hands comes behind us. We're leaning forwards and coming into warrior three. So you're coming into your balance here. Look down. Make sure you're pushing through the big toe. See, can you squeeze the shoulders and almost rise away from the ground? One more breath. Now, if the back knee comes down to the calf, so we're going to become like a little small bowl here. You're just squeezing everything in and then lengthen everything out. You're rising up away from the floor again. One more like that. We're going to take it down. Make sure you're looking down for this. You know, I'm doing the same as you, so you don't really need to see me. <laughs> lengthen it out. All for the balance. Place the toe at the back of the mat. High lunge. You can just reset a little bit to make sure you're breathing. Nice. Allow your left hand to come down to the mat. So we're gonna to twist towards the leg. Looking up to find a bit of a challenge. We're gonna allow the blade edge of the back foot to come out, or come down rather, and then take the right leg, step it back to your side plank, lifting up through the hips. Option here, guys, is to lower the bottom knee down, modified variation, or to lift the top knee up. Again, make sure we're looking down for this. One more breath. Nice. Slowly take it down, come through your vinyasa. So we're lowering slowly. Inhale to upward facing, and again, we're meeting downward facing dog. Taking a few couple of breaths here. When you are on your downward facing, can we almost engage a bit of front thighs, like you want to lift it closer in towards your bone? So there is a bit of activation into the leg. Nice, we're taking one more breath in downward facing. And then as we inhale, left leg reaches up. Knee can open up a little bit, do whatever feels good. Tap into that standing leg. Nice, take an inhale. Knee to the right triceps, we're twisting a bit as we exhale. One more time, lift it up. This time, place the foot shy by the thumb, soundlessly. So try to keep it soft. Back knee down, fingertips comes back. Again, if you can keep them down, then do. Hands can be on the hips as well. Lengthen on the inhale. 
and exhale to fold. One more, inhale to lengthen, exhale, fold. Walk the hands forwards. Keep broadness of the chest here. So you want to try to lift the bit, lift the back knee when you're ready. So the hips are going to be close to the mat. We're reaching the arms behind us and then squeezing into the shoulders a bit. So again, this rising sensation of the chest. Make sure that you've got connection down through the toes here because when you're gonna reach our arms forward, gaze down the biceps will be by the ears. Nice, now as we're moving into warrior three, arms comes behind us, you're gonna lean forwards and float up. Virabhadrasana three. Make sure now in your warrior three that you're not opening the hips to the side. Try up rather to get that right hip down a bit. Nice guys, as before, we're going to allow the back knee to come down to the cup. So we're becoming as small as possible and then lift back out. Really good. One more time. Taking it down. Ooh, gazing down. Nice guys, then lift it back up. Nice. With the same control, place the foot at the back of the mat. We'll meet in a high lunge. Reach up through the arms, soften the breath allowing right hand to come down to the mat. When you're placing the hand, place it either directly below the shoulder or a bit in front. It will give you more stability when you step back now. Gently, for balance, you can definitely look down, lay the edge of the back foot comes down, and then smoothly stepping it back, side plank. Any variation, allow the knee to lift. You can absolutely place the bottom knee down too. Breathing into the belly, one more breath and then gently guys we're going to come down vinyasa so you can be knees or toes hug the elbows tight inhale we're lifting up and on our exhale we're taking it back beautiful now for three breaths we are going to take child's pose knees down to the mat hips back if your shoulders are tired then reach your arms behind you and just rest the forehead down when we are ready, we are gently just going to come up into a kneeling position. So rise up onto our knees. We're going to work the shoulders a little bit today in our dolphin pose. What's important is to really push through the shoulders. So let's come into our tabletops, hands and knees. From here, you can move your hands a little bit forwards. Allow the forearms now to come down. So your elbows should be directly under the shoulders. From here, before we lift our hips up to dolphin pose, we already <laughs> want to start to push the mat away. So we're really allowing the lats to switch on, the triceps will start to work. So once we start to push, look down maybe between the elbows, tuck the toes, and then we're lifting the hips up. Nice. Now from here, guys, you can stay in dolphin. If you want to, you can walk the feet forwards a bit, lift the right leg up. Option one, pulse forward and back. Option two, take a few couple of kicks in towards your Pinchamayarasana. Again, any of these options are perfect. You can absolutely stay in option one. Dolphin, we're gonna hold for three more breaths. So again, if you're kicking, try to keep the legs really straight. If you're holding, then really push through the shoulders. One more breath. And then slowly, guys, child's pose. Taking it down and just soften one more time. Breathing into the belly, allow the shoulders to relax. Beautiful work, one more breath. Nice, slowly, arms are gonna come in front of us. Let's round up to tabletop and continue up, downward facing dog. Breathe into the belly. Allow the right leg to reach to the sky, take an inhale. Knee to nose again, exhale, come forward, push the mat away. Inhale, lift back up. Knee to nose first, then place the foot shy by the thumb. Back foot is gonna land in warrior one, so we're shortening the stance a bit. Heel comes down, toe out. Then we can rise up for a Bhadrasana one. Making sure that you can see your toe in front of the knee here. Reaching up. Now from here, what often happens is that we kind of flare the rib cage. Imagine the lower two ribs want to tuck in a little bit. So you're not coming into some kind of back bend. We're rather kind of hugging it in. 
breathe into the belly, engage the glutes here behind you. Now guys, we're gonna straighten the front leg, take this right hip, scoop it back a bit, take an inhale, arms behind you, crown of the head forward, we're gonna fold into this front leg. Take a little lengthening halfway lift, and as we're exhaling, you can definitely fold down. One more like that, we're inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to fold. Nice, stay here. Remember, scoop that right hip back a bit. Nice, we are gonna bend the front knee so the belly comes down to the thigh one more time, and when we're ready, float forwards, warrior three. So we're coming back to our balance. Make sure that there is enough space for you. <laughs> Squeeze the shoulders, arms are behind you. Nice, guys, one more breath. Nice. Then gently back knee comes into the chest. We're gonna reach both arms up, you're up standing. Hands in prayer. And then from here, again, if we've got space, we're just gonna point the foot straight forwards. Then take it back, warrior three. So arms behind you again. This time, hands reaches the mat and the back foot is gonna land down. Nice, so once you've kind of found the feet hip distance here, right arm reaches up. Second round of your side plank. I recommend to challenge yourself here because I know that you're stronger than you think in your side plank. Imagine you wanna open the chest to the ceiling, blade edge of the foot comes down, and then again, keep the core a bit switched on, maybe the leg lifts. You definitely wanna look down for this. Make sure you're gripping the mat a little bit. Reach through the fingertips. One more breath. Take it down, come through. Vinyasa, gaze forward. Everything is strong here. Nice. Downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in. And out. Beautiful, straight away. Left leg reaches up. Knee to nose, exhale around as you come forward. Last bit of standing sequence, inhale to lift. Knee to nose again, then hold. Place the foot shy by the thumb. Back foot warrior one, and then inhale, reach up. Finding space again. Feet here are around hip distance. I would recommend, you know, we can go over this many times, you know, how we wanna practice warrior one. <laughs> Allow the hips to point forward so they're not pointing to the sides, they are forwards. Lower two ribs, hugs in a little bit, and we're pushing down through the blade edge of the back foot. Last two inhales, and exhales. Straight on the front leg. Allow the left hip to scoop back a bit. We're gonna take an inhale, hands behind us, crown of the head forwards on the exhale. So as you fold here, you don't have to come all the way down. You know, find length. Take an inhale to lengthen a bit. And as we're exhaling, fold. Make sure you're hugging that um, left thigh back a bit. One more, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Nice, let's re-bend that front knee, belly down to the thigh, then rise up, warrior three. So you're coming back to your standing balance here. Make sure that we're looking down and find that lift of the chest. So we're not gonna kind of hang into the pose, we're rising and lifting. That's it. Back knee comes into the chest, hands reaches up. Hands comes into prayer. And then gently just point the foot straight forward. Come back, warrior three, arms behind you. Can you smoothly land down onto the mat, fingertips and the back toe down at the same time? Once you've set your foundation, we're gonna reach the left arm up. Now here too, similar to dolphin, we're gonna push the mat away. Engage your legs, gonna make it easier too. Blade edge comes down. You can absolutely pop that bottom knee down if you want to. <laughs> when you're ready, step it back, Vashastasana. Side plank, so we're gonna lift up. Maybe, if we can, can we shine the chest up a little bit? One more deep inhale. And then guys, come down, chaturanga. I don't know why I love chaturangas. Do you? <laughs> Downward facing dog. We're gonna take a deep breath in and out. 
once more child's pose a little um, rest for our shoulders and our wrists um, arms can be behind us arms can be in front of you whatever feels good take a little moment just to reconnect with your breath and your heart rate take in a few couple of deep inhales in your child's pose now we're coming back to this little challenge that we had, which is our um, dolphin pose. Dolphin pose is definitely um, a pose where we need to really engage the shoulders. But not just that, I think a little, well, the key part of dolphin pose, and especially if we're kicking, is to try to keep the legs as straight and strong as possible. Don't worry if you're new to this, just play with it, but be mindful. We are gonna come into tabletop when we're ready. So hands and knees, walking the hands just a little bit further forwards and then the elbows will come down. Remember here now, don't be in a hurry. I often see that as soon as we come into any kind of arm balance kicks, everyone's just rushing into it. But what we wanna do is to really push the mat away and then remind yourself that the legs will have to be connected now, okay? So again, we're gonna round, lift the bum, walk your feet as far forwards as they go. This time a left leg is gonna lift. Again, you can lean forwards and back. That's probably actually a bit harder, I think. <laughs> or keep the legs engaged as you just take a few couple of kicks. Again, you don't have to do any of it. You can stay in dolphin. We're staying three more breaths. If you're kicking, remember, you're gonna keep those legs really strong as you come up. Keep pushing through the shoulders. One more breath. Nice, then take it back, child's pose. <laughs> Just arrive down the forehead, you can come back. Breathe into the belly. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Really nice guys, gently we're gonna come back to tabletop. Just to transition, we're gonna lift up downward facing dog. Before we come down onto the mat, we're gonna place the right hand below the forehead. So you're coming into center and down a bit. Left hand reaches for the right calf. So you are gonna look down below your armpit. <laughs> and you can kind of look maybe towards the ceiling or the side. Scoop the navel in a little bit and find a nice little rotation. Breathing in. Then gently when we're ready, release. Swapping the hands over. <laughs> and then right hand goes towards the left calf. So again, firmly push through the right shoulder. Scoop the navel in a little bit, one more breath. And then gently release, take it back. Nice guys, now from here, we are gonna land seated. So when we're ready, let's just come on down onto the bum. Have some space behind you because we're taking it all the way down. Reach the arms forwards, round the spine, one vertebra at a time, taking it down. From here, take a full body stretch, reach your arms behind you. Just really open up the whole body. From here, sliding the heels in towards the bum. So you can just about touch your heels. Now, Make sure that you don't have your feet too far in so you can hold onto your ankles, just about so you can touch the heels. From here, this little gap between the mat and the lower back will tuck in. So we're gonna point the powers towards us. From here, guys, let's gently rise the hips up, clasp the arms below you, walk up onto the deltoids a bit, push firmly through the feet, magnetize the inner thighs, Satupandasana, bridge pose. Breathe into the belly. Again, pushing you through the glutes. One more breath. Nice, then gently release the hands. One vertebra at a time. Upper back comes down, mid back, and then lower back. Nice, knees can go side to side. Just softening. This is our last bit of engaging pulses. From here, it's literally downhill. Now, so what you, or you can decide um, if you wanna stay with bridge pulse, or if you wanna practice four wheel. You can also do bridge supported with a block. If you are coming into four wheel, then we're preparing with reaching the arms straight behind you. 
So the shoulder blades whoop, hugs in and rotates. From here, same concept later with the pushing of the feet and the pelvis, but we are sliding the hands down to the ears, fingertips pointing a tiny bit out. As always, when you're lifting, lift on your exhale rather than your inhale. You can stay with bridge or full where we're gonna take three to four breaths whenever we're there. Take an inhale to prepare. And as we're exhaling, firmly push down through the feet and the arms and rise up. Once you are in your back bend, again, you're gonna push through the feet, squeeze the glutes. Try to breathe with the belly. Nice, we're taking two more breaths. One more inhale. Nice, and on your exhale, chin to chest, shoulders comes down, and then the rest of the body. Place maybe a hand onto your heart and your belly, and just breathe into that space. Notice the subtle effect from back bending. Breathing in and breathing out. Nice, allow the knees to come into the chest, give yourself a little hug. We are going to land seated, so take your time, you can roll to the side and lift up, or you can hold onto your hamstrings and rise up seated. From seated, we're going to extend right leg forwards, left foot to the side, uh, thigh, <laughs> find the sit bones a little bit, flexing the foot. From here, let's just lengthen the upper body, reach up through the arms, take an inhale. As we're exhaling, hands forwards and down. Hands can land maybe behind the calf, if possible. But of course, you can take it further. Find length in the spine. Often what happens in our folds is that um, the upper body, <laughs> the back of the body, so the shoulders, the back muscles are like engaged here. So try to relax. So maybe give it a little shake and then hold. Breathing in and out. Two more deep breaths in. Softly out. Slowly guys, let's lift up. We're gonna take the left hand, place it behind you, push the left knee down and then reach up through the hips. Come into a gentle little back bend, opening the front body. Softly take it back down when we're ready, swapping the feet. Replace your pelvis, so we're going to lift the bum up and just place it however it wants to be. Foot into the thigh as we inhale, reach up. As we're exhaling, let's take it forwards and down. On if there's any injuries going on, if so, then take it higher. Breathing in and out. Again, relax in the shoulders. Relax the neck a little bit, maybe give it a wiggle. Softly in and softly out. Allow the neck to be long and just allow this part of the practice to be where we slow down. Not just the pace of the practice, but also the breath and the pace of the mind, the thoughts. One more inhale. And then slowly we're going to rise back up. This time, right hand behind us, right knee down, lift up through the hips, open it up. Beautiful, guys, take it down to the mat. Have some space behind you, we're gonna land onto the back. Arms forwards, chin to chest, slowly take it down. Arms to the sides, come into your twist, knees into the chest, then knees over to the right. Allow everything to be soft. Maybe the right hand lands on top of the knees here to give some support. Breathing in and out. Allow the belly to move. Nice, then gently come back up through centre and over to the opposite side. Knees over, shoulders heavy. Creating a twist all the way from the mid back and up to the upper. Breathe into the diaphragm. One more inhale. 
and gently as before the knees comes back up. If there's any movements or wiggles you'd like to invite, maybe um, knees into chest, do, maybe there's a happy baby opening up to the sides, doing whatever feels good here for a moment before we come into our Shavasana. Again, take your time. If you need any props, go ahead and grab them. Eventually, we will arrive down onto our mat. Legs will be extended. Arms will be extended next to us. In order to let go of that Ajaya breath, we're gonna take a deep sigh. So let's fill up the whole body on an inhale. Open the mouth and exhale. Softening the jaw, the space around the eyes. Allow the shoulders to hug down and the whole body just gets heavy down to the mat. If you notice that your mind is drifting, then simply just bring it back. If your mind wanders, then look at the thoughts just like clouds, coming and going. Some clouds are dark and big and others are soft and bright, just like our thoughts. The one thing is for sure and that that's, but they're, the one thing is for sure and that is that they come and go. Allow everything to soften down to the mat. Another few deep inhales. And eventually your awareness comes back to the space where you are on your mat. You can feel the back part of the body. You can feel what parts of the body is moving as you're breathing. I'm going to take a deeper inhale with fresh energy, letting all the old out. Slowly allow some movements to come back to the fingertips and the toes, feeling the rest of the body slowly. The head might go side to side. We might eventually find that full body stretch. Allowing the knees to hug into your chest. Take a little moment here. And slowly we're gonna roll over to one side. Keep the gaze soft. And when we are ready, press up to a comfortable seated pose. Once seated, we're gonna close down our eyes. Take a little shoulder roll and find length across the spine. And gently allow your hands to move to prayer in front of your heart. Take an opportunity just to follow the breath, feeling the awareness within. And together, and take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Bow down to your practice and to your prayer. Thank you for sharing your practice today. Well done today, guys. Really, really lovely to have you here. If you enjoyed the class, then let me know so I know what to produce to you. If you'd like more vinyasa or yin, let me know as well. <laughs> if you want to connect online, then follow me on Diana Yoga on Instagram, or you can find out more about my live Zoom classes on my website, as well as future yoga retreats across Europe. And um, so I'll put all the information in the description box Hopefully I'll see you in the next class and until then have a lovely, lovely day. See you soon. Take care.